What is going on, fellow Wastelanders? Shock Radio here. And today I'd like to talk to you guys about what I think is probably the most versatile cabin in the game. And if you do not have this cabin, you probably should work to get it because you can literally use this cabin with just about any weapon. And I'm going to demonstrate that here today and talk to you guys about a few key features of this cabin and that is the beholder cabin and this is a legendary cabin that was from a previous battle pass it is not craftable but you can pick it up on the market for pretty cheap actually i took a look earlier and it is actually one of the cheapest legendary cabins currently on the playstation market which is surprising because it has some pretty amazing stats so first of all let's talk about the perk and why what really makes it stand out and that is that first of all it has a free cloak built into the cabin so if you don't run any cloak at all the perk gives you an invisibility module and then the second perk being if you do install some sort of in invisibility module on there it is going to enhance the invisibility module and what that is going to do is allow you to be cloaked while uh, you have been shot um, <clears throat> so usually if you're getting shot while you're in cloak you instantly come out of cloak but with this invisibility module and the beholder cloak you can actually take some damage and still remain cloak it also works really good with uh the still win weapons that have a perk that allow you to shoot while you're cloaked and i believe it also uh gives your cloak additional run time so just demonstrating what that perk kind of looks like here uh <clears throat> this is a beholder cabin with a cloak on it and you will notice when we cloak up and say we take damage, it is now blue. It takes a second for me to come out of cloak. Something also extremely unique is if you pair up the cloak and the beholder with a rift in there. If you see my down on the D-pad is a self-destruct module, the rift. Um, you can actually cloak twice. So instead of waiting for your cloak to cool down, which is really helpful in, say, Leviathan clan battles, if you'd like to see an example of that, check this video up here. Uh, you can see that where I kind of explain in detail. You can cloak up here, you can take damage, and then as soon as you come out of cloak, you can actually pop your rift and recloak again. So this is another huge feature of the Beholder Cabin's perk that makes it so amazing. So anyway, moving on past the perk, it has a pretty decent max speed of 80 kilometers an hour, and I've, I guess they go up to about 90 or so with engines and different things like that. And it supports good tonnage and good mass limit as well. And it has some really awesome mounting points uh, on it also, so a lot of benefits. And really, you can use this cabin for any playstyle. And to showcase the versatility of the Beholder cabin today, I picked out a long range build, a medium range build, and a close range build to show you what it is capable of. And first off, we have the AC Storms with a rapier on it, triple auto cannon hover, very elusive, pushing 11k power score. So you'll see pitted up against 12, 13, even 15k in some cases. And it will be all right because it is nimble. As long as you don't get shot too much, you are okay. And you can maintain the range. So it's pretty awesome. Next build we have is actually two Nidhogs with a flash or a spark. You can take off the flash spark, put another Nidhogg on there. You can take off the Nidhogs, put junk bows on there. Any kind of reload shotgun would actually do well with this run and gun style build. A lot of fun. This utilizes close range combat to go fast in circles around your opponent, stripping guns and doing maximum damage. And then finally, to showcase the Beholder, we have Imps. Imps, you can't go wrong. My favorite weapon in the game is the Imps. Love Imps on some Omni wheels, which I'm terrible at driving this, so you will see how bad I am at driving that as well. All this is awesome on the Beholder, all different guns. You actually even see I have typhoons on the beholder cabin amazing scorpions you can use on beholder cabin you can literally use anything on a beholder cabin so let's get right into it and show you guys some awesome pvp all right ladies and gentlemen first up we are taking the ac storms out for a spin by far one of my favorite weapons in the game i love the auto cannon gameplay from range the ac storms have an absolutely amazing perk the further you are away, the higher the damage. Just really good weapons to have. Any new player, highly recommend getting these. Great for raids, 
and even as you'll see in this video high power score they can hang if they are on the right build and this even has one rapier on it I'm taking the range here suppressive fire down range we see a flute guy there so we're using our evasive hovers to keep cover and maintain position we pop out on Edward here see if we can take some guns immediately that free cloak is coming in handy as we get Edward off of our back the free beholder cloak is hands down incredible for raids uh, bots like like you just see in Edward there or ev evading hurricanes flutes it's incredible the free cloak uh, can't be overstated and we don't want to move close range we got to move close range with our team and these guns just do so much DPS when you can land all three shots on there for being teal and rare weapons, these things just pack such a punch. They're just, they're not stopping with radiator, two radiators and I believe a cooler on it, and they're just not stopping. And this guy's like, I gotta get out of here. This guy's got rapier. He's got a rapier, bro. I gotta run. No match. What, they gotta have a reaper? <laughs> I don't know, Miller, maybe. He might have a Miller. I think he had a reaper, though. Uh, he's like, I'm getting out of here and there's our our flute. We, we've been afraid of him the whole match We have to, uh, to sneak up on this guy That free cloak again just coming in clutch We're able to play cat and mouse games here with the realist And I was able to pop about half of those right there and not take hardly any damage. Staying alive, keeping that damage coming with three auto cannons. Which is absolutely crushing epic weapons with special and rare guns. Incredible. We're gonna see if we can hunt down the last person right behind me. Am some quick maneuverability right there. Those hovers, the the evasive maneuverability of having this low amount of hovers. What is it like five hovers on this build? It's so jukey, so quick. We can just kind of go right over top of this guy. He can hit the wall and ah, oh, right before, right before the final kill capped. All right, next match. And we are getting straight into the next one with the Nidhogg Flash Beholder Banana Build. Going fast, shooting even faster. And we're actually up to 100 kilometers an hour. So this Beholder with the right engine can go fast, ladies and gentlemen. Straight into battle we go. These triple fortune builds are really awesome looking. Love to try triple fortunes out. Not giving them any time to get the jump on us. Just absolutely devastating them as they come in. And that spider I wanted nothing to do with quite yet. Found ourselves another triple fortune banana build. Just right underneath them we go. The flash, he's not getting away. His reload speed is being shut down right now. His power is being drained. His cabin door is dwindling until his final moment. And now we have ourselves a bot to take care of. This could have been a little bit more tastefully done, but we have a cloak ready to go. So use that beholder right there to make sure that bot does not shoot us because mastodons are extremely devastating and these mastobots will absolutely annihilate you so you got to take care of them when you're in these higher power score brackets they are no joke ladies and gentlemen let me tell you and if you wanted to use lower weapons on this such as junk bows oh that was a beautiful explosion and the like 
uh, Orathrons, things like that. You could certainly do that with this build. There's nothing wrong with that. It is a great concept. All right, Wastelanders, in our last build showcase we have is going to be Imps on Omni Wheels with a Beholder Cabin. I'm definitely rusty with Omni Wheels, so we are going to see how this one goes. But I absolutely love Imps. You can for sure put on some fidgets or piercers if you don't have those and give this type of build a try. These weapons are a lot of fun. Always been one of my favorites. No matter how good or bad they are, I am a diehard rapid fire machine gun fan. You can see fortunes flying in. Looks like those Banana Fortune builds are making a debut here again. There's one. That's going to hurt a little bit. Trying to maintain some suppressive fire here. I love, absolutely love how Omni Wheels can zip back and forth from place to place, cover to cover. This build actually is a lot of fun. Someone's right behind me. Yeah. It's me living by my name, Crash Radio. And another one. That's awesome. I'm so glad he did not see me right there. That could have been so bad. We're going to chase him down. Dishing out that damage. Pop goes the weasel. I should probably stop, but nope. We're going to face tank. Using as much firepower as we can dish out right here. Tanking the firebug. Maintaining the strafe. Keeping the turn going to make sure that he cannot maintain get speed to catch us. And he is out. The imps strike again. Here's the fortune banana. Little dive bomb action. Firing angle is a little bit wonky. Another one bites the dust. Like I said, you can use a lot of these builds with lower tier weapons, guys, if you don't have them. If you would like to see lower tier weapons on these types of builds, um, let me know in the comments below. Uh, or if there's anything else that you would like to see. I love hearing from you guys. And I appreciate all the support that you guys show the channel. It means a lot to me. Yeah, and let me know what builds you're making with Beholders. And I'll see you guys in the next video.